Hi people, this is Angel from PRDV Entertainment and today I'm going to uh, show you guys tutorial number one for the MyTorque 3D game engine. I just downloaded this uh, engine today, I'm, I'm just testing it out. Uh, I have learned a couple of things in a couple of minutes only, so it's really quite easy to use. Now first of all, let's talk about the interface and the interface we have like always the same tools, file, edit, view, object, uh, physics, camera, editors, lightning and help. Uh, from here you will be working a lot with the editors. You also have uh, all the editors on this toolbar right here. But for to be easier to read, you can go to the top of your window, click on editor, and you will find object editor, terrain, terrain painter, material, sketch tool, data block, decal, forest, mesh road, mission area, particle, river, road and path, and shape editor. Now from here you will have the select, uh, the move selection, the rotate, and the scale. So you have only five to, uh, four tools here to move around, scale, and rotate the objects that you have. And now from here we have the camera, camera speed on this toolbar. I always use the free camera and the player camera. It depends on what you're trying to see and what I'm how easier it is to look for you. I always use only these two. As you can see we are right now on the free camera. This is the normal way to see everything around the map and the first person shooter to see how it looks like uh, in the game. Now let me change the camera back to the free camera. There we go. We got the world settings here. Uh, take it out. Come on man. Take it out. Thank you. Okay, now on our right panel, we have the scene and the library tab. Now from here, you can work with uh, the ground plane, the player drop points, the sun, the sky, the level info, and other items that you may insert on your map. From here, if you choose to click on the sky on your right panel, you can go into the properties on the bottom, as you can see on the specter, skybox material, and click on that little circle that you have there. From here, you can choose uh, what texture you're going to be inserting for the sky. So I'm going to be choosing the sky once again. Here we go. As same as for the ground plane, go to the plane, go to the material, click on the circle, and you can choose the texture that, that you want to add to your ground. Now I'm going to leave it back with grass. There we go. Now, this is not grass, this texture is for trees, but I didn't find grass on the game, so I needed something to look almost like grass on the floor. Okay. So, from here, you also have uh, the library. On the library, you have the scripted meshes, the levels, and the prefabs. On the scripted, you can add a couple of objects that you have, and you have different folders here. Same as for the meshes, you have the art folder. From here, you have shapes, and you have a couple of things here, like trees, rocks, items, cube, actors, weapons, blah, blah, blah. From here on the level, you have the environment, the sample objects, the level, and the system. From here, you will be working a lot with the environment and the level. In the environment, as you can see, you have basic clouds, basic sun, uh, cloth, uh, cloud layer, ground cover, ground plane, lightning, particle emitter, point light, precipitation, scattered sky, skybox, sound emitter, spotlight, terrain block, water block, water plane, and wind emitter. If you go back, on the level folder, you will have camera, level info, mission area, a server spawn sphere, occlusion, volume, path, the path node. Uh, that you will be working a lot with this thing because this is what set up uh, all the enemies on the game. Uh, we got the physical zone, we got the player spawn sphere, sound space, time of day, trigger zone, zone, uh, zone portal. Um, here on the system, we don't have nothing for that okay so basically from this right panel you will be working with all the properties that you insert on the map uh, for your objects all the objects all the properties will be here on this panel 
uh, this is the only thing I'm gonna be uh, teaching you guys on this tutorial on this uh, first tutorial so I'm gonna try to create a second tutorial for the end of this week trying to show you guys how to add trees how to uh, work with the with the uh, oh my god with the terrain editor the terrain painter and the material editor so I hope to see you guys uh, the end of this week this is Angel from PRDB guys bye